Let me show you how to make Tom Brown Pro Max weight gain food for babies and adults too. So you want your baby to gain weight or you yourself you want to gain weight then prepare this. Let's introduce our ingredients. We have our yellow corn, white skinny corn, millet, half the rica, wheat, one cup, soya beans, half the rica, then crayfish, one cup, granite, one cup, tiger nuts and dates in smaller quantities, and my bonga fish. Then make flavor, the spice of the issue. <laughs> I'll start off by picking out my greens you know removing dead and stones because these things comes with a whole lot of them like a whole lot you have to literally cool down to select these greens you don't want to end up burying a beautiful nonsense so take your time in picking out your greens I have other amazing videos on my channel. It's very helpful videos, especially for moms. So do want to check them out. Look at the dirt I got in my greens. So big. Can you see? So dead. I will go ahead and clean up my fish, removing the head, the back, and the bones. You know, we are aiming for a very smooth um, brown powder. So we don't want any traces of bone in our meal. After that is washing time. I will wash all my ingredients except make flavor of course because that one is packaged. But every other ingredient I washed them. So if you are like me that her child has refused to transition into a proper adult meal or you are a mom that is looking for a meal, a healthy meal, a weight gain meal to give to your baby even as an adult then this recipe is for you go ahead and try this tom brown out and you will not regret ever doing that it's so healthy apart from being healthy it's so affordable so go ahead and give it a quick wash then spread it out on a tray to sun dry or air dry if you're not living in a sunny country you see these floating grains they are bad grains do not include it throw it away Okay, so spread that like so and sun dry or air dry, whichever way. You see the sand in millets only. The sands are so tiny, so be careful when washing millets especially. It's time for frying. Fry all your ingredients except for your bonga fish, tiger nuts, dates and of course, your milk flavor but every other ingredient of both granite and so you toast them take it light brown do not allow it to pop do not allow it to burn just be close to the stuff do not go too far away from it or leave it unattended for so long as you are toasting you are spreading it out on a tray to cool off before you proceed to grinding hey my loves welcome and welcome back to the channel if you are just seeing my video for the first time hi my name is benedict ebere welcome to the channel on this channel we'll talk about motherhood and lifestyle helping you with your motherhood journey anything that will help you helpful videos educating videos about child care child development tips and tricks and lots more so if this sounds like something that you are interested in, if you are a young mom, please do not hesitate to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell close to it so you get notified when next I post new videos. Don't be a stranger. You are highly welcome over here. And to my OGs, my returning subscribers, how far? <laughs> how you doing? Hope you are bubbling fine. Okay. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for always watching my videos, always engaging on my videos. I really, really, really appreciate. And yeah, we are 2K subscribers already. Yay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. These soya beans, do not pour it together with other grains. Package it separately. I'll show you what you do later. 
this cereal is so yummy and highly highly nutritious mainly looking at itself you know that it's so rich and so yummy it contains so many vitamins and minerals both carbs and fats i usually fry my granite with garlic that way it will not burn quickly and it will be done properly if you don't want this stress you can get the already fried granite out there it's still the same thing after toasting package your soya beans in a different container or bag combine the non-toasted ingredients and head to the miller when you get there they will loosely grind the soya beans remove the bag before grinding everything together if you are doing it at home kindly achieve this with your pause button on your blender after that spread it out to cool off on a tray before proceeding to sieving the reason why we are sieving is to get out all the uh, escaped grains you know maybe doing grinding or any grains at all that escaped the machine will get it out through this and that process will give us a very smooth thumb brown powder a very smooth thumb brown cereal trust me look at that con that escaped machine can you see there are the things that makes your thumb brown rough so guys i forgot to go to the miller with my milk flavor i'm supposed to go to the miller with it so if you are doing yours go to the miller with it at some point introduce it to your uh, thumb brown powder and let them grind it properly so i'm just i'll just go ahead and mix mine with my hands over here and it still come out perfect can't stop talking about how good and highly nutritional this series is and aside that is highly highly economical very very affordable i went ahead and measured it in this very affordable baby series highly processed at that just to show you guys how affordable it is and i got six containers of it six and a half containers of this baby cereal if you reside in nigeria you will know how much this series costs each costs about three thousand naira in local markets so how much more in superstores and all of that so it's highly highly affordable and nutritional at the same time so it's a win-win go ahead and package in an airtight container and store over the counter do not shake it this way it will get it spoiled easily this is the quantity i got to prepare mix the quantity that you want with the room temperature water dissolve it till it's very smooth and in a runny consistency Pour the mixture into an already boiling water. Stir continuously till it thickens up. If it thickens up too faster than you expected, you can go ahead and add a little water to it to cook for a longer period of time. Cook for like a minute or two, and your thumb brown is ready. Please forgive my lightning at this stage. I totally forgot that my ring light is off and I was shooting, guys. It was at some point that I noticed that I did not turn this light on and I've already gone far. So please forgive me. So here it is. It looks so yummy. So go ahead and add breast milk or your baby's formula and feed. And in two weeks, I guarantee you, you'll see a visible weight gain your baby's with for an adult you can just add normal milk or you choose to leave it take it like that it's still all good so i would like to know your thoughts your questions and opinion in the comment section so let me know over there please don't forget to subscribe like and share to a mom close by close to you that might need this kind of information it will help youtube to push my video to the right people that urgently need this video 
Till I come your way next time, stay fabulous.